Hello friends, and you may remember I said that I was not going to try and split Gold Legs up into two parts, but I figure I should and at least showcase uh, the route that you should do for your first two runs to guarantee your most coins. Uh, it'll be fast forward in the background, but as it stands, your goal is to kill the right shoulder, the left shoulder, and the abdomen, then leave without killing the head. I prefer to not go through, not fight the abdomen first, mainly because the abdomen monsters ha can weapon cancel and you just do one damage to them. So it's just an annoyance when I can clear the right shoulder and left shoulder much easier by, you know, just breezing through them. They can't cancel on me and I have enough mobility to reach them if they go get a try and get away from me. Other than that, uh, I did not understand the importance of buff freezers at this point. Like, I didn't understand why people used them. I thought you only needed them for, like, hard bosses. But, you know, if you're just beginning to learn a boss, I highly recommend picking them up. Uh, yeah, as since it took me, like, another month and a half to realize, oh, I'm struggling with this boss. Maybe I should take a buff freezer to make sure I don't spend extra time, you know, buffing and potentially dying again. Especially when there's bosses such as Magnus uh, that are coming up. Uh, yeah, it's really worth the investment. I mean, if you're going to Golix and you're going to try a stage harder than you're used to, maybe don't do a full coin run. Uh, instead, use the first two uh, runs as normal. Uh, use the first run normally as a three coin farm run. The next... Uh, the next time you go in, kill the amount of parts for the harder stage you want to attempt to fight, right? And then from there, you'll go into the head, practice a little to get, you know, the hang of it. Maybe you'll kill phase one, maybe phase two, but the goal is to leave at that point. Just kill the third body part that you haven't killed. And if you get down on too many lives, just leave, go and kill the third part, uh, the third body part for that third coin, leave, and then do a normal run with the normal difficulty you're used to. Basically, take advantage of the game mechanics. If, like, cannot say it enough, but I have a lot. Of, I had a lot of difficulty fighting the abdomen at this point, uh, mainly because I did not know how to avoid the bottom. And I'll have to make a more descriptive guide on how to actually fight each individual body piece, because as a thunderbreaker, where you get locked into place after after using an attack and having to combo out of it. It can be very difficult to uh, be flexible, even though you have a lot of moves at your disposal. So we'll get back to Golix in a little bit, where you get to see a normal Golix run, which I thought I was not capable of doing, but if I had actually taken time to practice maneuvering between both sides of Golix, I would have been perfectly fine. Uh, really, this game is a lot more practice than I thought it was, because bosses, while they do become easier with the more damage you have, there's very... there's time limit will become more of an issue once you learn the mechanics. Uh, other than that, we'll get into the next clip, which I'll cover very briefly, even though it's a very big, uh, big m meso supplier if you don't want to, don't have an endgame farmer or don't want a Kana farm. So I'll see you there. Okay, even though this is lagging like infinitely because Ursus is a very laggy area, um, welcome to Ursus, and I did say it, or Veronica, as she was once known. It's the giant bear, the money bear, as I refer to it, and many others probably do too. But the goal of Ursus is, well, it's an 18-man fight, 18-man party slash fight, except you're not really in a party, against this gigantic bear that has multiple one-hit KO moves and uh, lots of other features. The damage formula is different here as it's based off your stat and potentials apparently aren't like used, but the basics of it is you're going to be doing a, a lot more damage than you're used to without your buffs. Um, you get to select six or eight skills that you can use within the Ursus realm, which is getting changed in a future update. But right now, currently, if you were to see this video and start playing and start doing Ursus, you would enter and you'd be told to choose eight skills that you would use during the fight. Um, there's a few mechanics to know, like, basically when Ursus is down, as soon as it stands up, it'll just kill you, as if you're on the ground, which you can see in this video. 
Um, there's a bunch of other things. There's reviving players, which I highly recommend you do, especially if you have low damage, because that's basically all you can do to help your team is revive them. Um, if you're able to do actual damage and contribute to the fight, go ahead. But if you see a person that's down that is going to be able to contribute more DPS or even help res other members that can do DPS, res them. It's way more important than trying to be a hero when you don't do damage. Really, it is. Even at my level, I understood this. Just just don't focus on doing damage. Focus on, on keeping people alive so they can either res other people or they can do damage because you're not going to be doing damage yourself. So, why did I bring up Ursus and why is, why is it actually able to fill up when you need 18 random players? The thing is, from currently, uh, what is 4pm to 6pm EST, Ursus rewards double mesos. And if you can see uh, from that brief, brief uh, ending shot, I got an S rank and I got like 24 million meso. The amount of meso you get goes up. The, the higher the level you are and getting it just a bare minimum s rank at like level 250 is like 31 ish mil so it's basically a guaranteed 90 mil or like 75 to 90 mil depending on your level um so that is quite a chunk of money if you're new to the game and especially with the how inaccessible end game farming is for new players i highly recommend just doing your ursus runs daily Yes, you want, like I mentioned before, you won't really be contributing much, but there's a lot of people willing to do this to carry and, you know, get a free 90 mil themselves that you'll, you'll often see them here, too. Don't be afraid of failing the Ursus run. You get three runs daily, so obviously you're, that's why I mentioned it's 90 mil. And you get, there's rankings. Make sure you do at least one damage to the bear, otherwise you don't get a ranking or any meso. Uh, I think you do get a ranking. It's like an E ranking, but you get no Mesa. Uh, if you do even one little bit of damage to Ursus and then the boss dies, you will get an S rank automatically and it'll be awarded Mesa according to that. Uh, there's also extra benefits you can get from resing members, as in you might get soul shards for Ursus, which I'm not sure how useful they are, but you know, you can collect them if you need to make, make use of a soul, which we'll eventually get into. Uh, other than that, Ursus is just another daily you can add on to your list of dailies to do, and I'd recommend it, especially if you're somewhat new, because, again, it's like 75 million mesos, almost guaranteed as long as you kill the boss, but you're not going to be killing the boss. Uh, a carry is going to be killing the boss. Uh, so, we'll get to the next boss, because this is just a bunch of bosses I want to cover. So we're back at Nor uh, Horntail, and this is the normal version, again, because... Uh, yet again, I don't have enough DPS or damage to warrant me going to a Chaos, especially when Chaos uh, Horntail is more based around how much damage you can deal and than it is based around how good you are mechanically, uh, mainly because it hits hard and it can actually one-shot you, especially with the HP I have. I, I would get one-shot in C uh, Chaos Horntail. So, Besides that point, we're killing normal Horntail. It's quite an annoyance. It can weapon, can weapon cancel. Uh, these The first two heads can weapon cancel or magic cancel you. Uh, so you'll only be doing one damage if it canceled your specific attack style. Um, very annoying. Uh, you can avoid this by using, if you're a, an explorer warrior, using magic crash on them. I mean, I wouldn't exactly just say go play those classes just so you can magic crash Horntail. Or, or other bosses that weapon cancel, but if you are playing those classes by chance, just keep it in mind that you can avoid that. When you get to the full boss fight, the third phase, I guess, or third stage of Horntail, uh, all three heads are present. There's the tail, the two legs, and two uh, hands or arms. The tail can lay down gas, which ticks pretty quickly and gets rid of your HP quite fast. Um, so you don't want to stand it in it for long. Uh, the two arms can seduce you and or lock or seal you. So seducing will force you to one side of the map without, and you have no control over your character, meaning no potion input or whatnot. So it might one one you, seduce you, and then you'll get hit by a rock or some other uh, obstacle and just die. Uh, the legs don't do much but stomp. The heads can breathe fire, but more importantly, they can weapon cancel you because they just tend to prolong the fight. Uh, as you can see, I took out the other body parts with ease, and then I'm weapon cancelled and barely doing any anything to these 
one head, but I'm hitting the middle head uh, oh, decently enough. Um, at this point in the game, I did not have 100% crit rate, which is a goal that you should set for yourself because 100% crit will up your damage by 20 to 30% or already just because you're always critting, which is 20 to 30% higher damage than your normal attack. Uh, that's more of a side note, but again, this is kind of a DPS judge. I can clear it, obviously. It just takes some time. I'm not going to instantly kill it while trying to... Uh, while fighting it, because it gets time to weapon cancel me, which is very annoying, but it's just something I'm going to have to deal with at this point in time. Uh, other than that, Horntail is a very straightforward boss. Get annoyed, annoy it, kill it, get some drops maybe. Uh, I don't even know if the boss gem update was out yet. I think it was, though. Uh, make use of your AoE skills, clear the entire map, you know, do your thing. You're going to be, most likely, if you're progressing the same way I am, you're going to be weak, but get it done. You'll get it done, and I, I, I don't know, I found the solo progression the most rewarding experience I've had playing MapleStory in a long, long time. So, I do highly recommend it to you if you're just watching this for fun. Uh, I, I do, I do recommend you get into a guild, but you don't need to get carried to be in a guild. You just need a guild cap, which is a different story. So, Horntail, uh, finishing it up here, drops, has notable drops though, and that I didn't mention earlier, but it drops the necklace, these earrings, which will eventually get replaced by the Golix earrings, and a ring called the Silver Blossom Ring, which is a, since you have four ring slots, is usable until you get other best in slot rings. Uh, not much to mention there, except there's three boss drops, technically, that can fill slots, and if it fills a slot, it's probably more damage. Not much else to say. Moving back to Golix. Well, hello friends, Niz here, and today uh, we are attempting the Master SS uh, Rings, which was an event that was going on during this time, which was now a few months ago because it was around the New Year's celebration, like the first New Year's celebration, not the Chinese New Year. So that goes to show you how long ago this clip was recorded. Uh, anyways, I guess since we're here, I'll go over how the Master SS ring works, because I think I... I was going for either my second one now, or I, w or I still was going for my first. Uh, basically, to create the Master SS ring, you need four S jewel jewels, and you need four blank rings. Uh, then with the four... Jewel S rank jewels and the four blank rings, you make four S rings. They don't, it doesn't matter the color, doesn't matter uh, if they're uh, w better than normal or worse than normal, it, you just need four S rings. Um, and then you can pay 20 million mesos to the bunny to get a master SS ring. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this again is because it is a best in slot ring, and the fact it's a unique item, meaning you can only wear one at a time, but you are allowed to get more than one, uh, shows that you should aim for two so you have another one for drop gear. Either way, the, 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 the big thing about it is you open, you buy these jewel boxes and they give you any rank jewel through, uh, C through A, I believe I've never seen anything higher than an A, um, but once there, you will combine the same tier of jewel for a chance to tier up to, to the next one and eventually S. C, combining two C gems is 70%, B is 50%, and A is 30%, and then once you have the S ring, you have a 100% chance guaranteed when combining it with a ring to get the ring. Uh, so yeah, it can be quite hectic, uh, quite annoying because it's RNG, so like everything in MapleStory, uh, it's just luck. Well, hello friends, Niz here, and today uh, we are attempting the Master SS uh, Rings, which was an event that was going on during this time, which was now a few months ago because it was around the New Year's celebration, like the first New Year's celebration, not the Chinese New Year. So, that goes to show you how long ago this clip was recorded. Uh, anyways, I guess since we're here, I'll go over how the Master SS ring works, because I think I... I was going for either my second one now, or... 
I w or I still was going for my first. Uh, basically, to create the Master SS ring, you need four S jewel jewels, and you need four blank rings. Uh, then with the four jewel S rank jewels and the four blank rings, you make four S rings. They don't. It doesn't matter the color. Doesn't matter uh, if they're. Uh, better than normal or worse than normal it you just need four s rings um and then you can pay 20 million mesos to the bunny to get a master ss ring now the reason i'm mentioning this again is because it is a best in slot ring and the fact it's a unique item meaning you can only wear one at a time but you are allowed to get more than one uh shows that you should aim for two so you have another one for drop gear either way the the big thing about it is you open, you buy these jewel boxes and they give you any rank jewel through uh, C through A, I believe. I've never seen anything higher than an A. Um, but once there, you will combine the same tier of jewel for a chance to tier up to, to the next one and eventually S. C, combining two C gems is 70%, B is 50%, and A is 30%. And then once you have the S ring, you have a 100% chance guaranteed when combining it with a ring to get the ring. Uh, so yeah, it can be quite hectic, uh, quite annoying because it's RNG. So like everything in Maple Story, uh, it's just luck. Well, hello friends, Niz here, and today uh, we are attempting the Master SS uh, rings which was an event that was going on during this time which was now a few months ago because it was around the New Year's celebration like the first New Year's celebration not the Chinese New Year so that goes to show you how long ago this clip was recorded uh, anyways I guess since we're here I'll go over how the master SS ring works because I think I I was going for either my second one now or I w or I still was going for my first. Uh, basically, to create the Master SS ring, you need four S jewel jewels, and you need four blank rings. Uh, then with the four jewel S rank jewels and the four blank rings, you make four S rings. They don't. It doesn't matter the color. Doesn't matter uh, if they're. Uh, W better than normal or worse than normal it you just need four s rings um and then you can pay 20 million mesos to the bunny to get a master ss ring now the reason i'm mentioning this again is because it is a best in slot ring and the fact it's a unique item meaning you can only wear one at a time but you are allowed to get more than one uh shows that you should aim for two so you have another one for drop gear either way the the big thing about it is you open, you buy these jewel boxes and they give you any rank jewel through uh, C through A. I believe I've never seen anything higher than an A. Um, but once there, you will combine the same tier of jewel for a chance to tier up to, to the next one and eventually S. C, combining two C gems is 70%, B is 50%, and A is 30%. And then once you have the S ring, you have a 100% chance guaranteed when combining it with a ring to get the ring. Uh, so yeah, it can be quite hectic, uh, quite annoying because it's RNG. So like everything in Maple Story, uh, it's just luck. Well, hello friends, Niz here. And today uh, we are attempting the Master SS uh, rings.